Hello friends, welcome back to Prohat IT Services. Good to see you back. In the last video, we learned the steps of installing and configuring Citrix Zenapp server. In this video, we'll cover the steps of installing and configuring web interface. We already have a domain controller in our environment. We deployed Citrix Zenapp license server and database role on ctx01 server ctx02 server is out of scope for this video we'll be covering ctx02 as an additional citrix zenapp server in future videos in this video we'll cover the steps of installing and configuring web interface once we publish applications on citrix zenapp server we will access those applications via our client machine that is win7 machine we are on wi01 server that is web interface server now to start with insert dvd of citrix zenapp 6.5 click on start click on computer and right click on dvd drive and select install or run program from your media Click on yes to allow an executable to run. Click on install Zenapp server. It is asking to deploy a .NET 3.5 SP1. .NET 3.5 SP1 is a prerequisite for Citrix Zenapp installation. Citrix Zenapp server role manager window will start after .NET installation is completed. Click on Add Server Role to install Web Interface Role on the server. Out of the three editions, select Platinum Edition. Read the license agreement carefully and then click on Next. On the Choose Zenapp Role window, select Web Interface. Web Interface provides secure access to Zenapp and Zen Desktop resources from anywhere through any device with a web browser. It's a website that end users will access on their devices to access published applications. Click on Next. On the Choose Role subcomponent window, Web Interface Core is checked as default component. Click on Next. All the prerequisites are required to be installed for web interface role. Click Next to install all the prerequisites. Installation will take a while. I'll fast forward this video and will be back once the installation is completed. Web interface role is installed on the server. Next step is to configure web interface. Click on Configure to configure web interface. In the Citrix Web Interface Management window, we can see two options that is Zenapp Websites and Zenapp Service Sites. Scope of this video is to create a Zenapp website. To create a Zenapp site, select the Zenapp website and Click on Create Site. This IIS site would be the default website. We'll leave the default path. We'll check the box for Set as the default page for the IIS site. This will create this site as the default page. Click Next. Next step is to specify the point of authentication. We have multiple options to configure authentication like Web Interface, Microsoft ADFS, Access Gateway, Third Party Kerberos and a Web Server. Scope of this video is to configure Web Interface, therefore we are not discussing about other alternates. Maybe we will cover all other options in future videos. Select Web Interface and click on Next. 
review the settings that we have configured. We need to use this URL to access published applications. Even if we type wi01.prohat.net, it will be redirected to the full URL. If you want to make any changes, then click on back, else click on next. Site creation is in progress. It will take a while to create a site. Site is created successfully. Next step is to configure the site. We need to specify a server farm and name of the server that are part of this farm. Farm name that we specified is new farm. Click on add and specify list of servers in failover order that are part of this farm. As we know, we only have one server in this farm that is ctx01. Click next. On the configure authentication methods, we can see multiple options. We are not covering extensive information about the different authentication methods. We'll check explicit for this demo and click on next. We can either allow all the domains to access published applications or restrict it to few domains. For this demo, we'll select allow any domain and click on next. Specify logon screen appearance will define the screen appearance. Full will take more bandwidth and minimal will take less. For this video, we'll select minimal and click on next. To select publish resource type, it is important to understand the difference between them. Online is to access application, content and desktops that are hosted on the remote server. Offline is for streamed applications. We'll talk about streaming application in detail in future video. For this video, we'll select online and click on next. Click on finish after you confirm the settings. A new site is created with the name of Zanap. In the summary tab, we can review all the settings. Next step is to publish application on Citrix Zanap server.